There shall be no election in Nigeria come 2023. Major prophets have spoken. As you all know, this clamor for breakup of Nigeria led to civil war. A lot of lives were lost. And the same spirit has been awoken. And for those who think it is going away anytime soon, they must be joking. Like I said, major prophets have spoken. There is not going to be election. INEC has given date for the next presidential election 2023. But according to major prophets, this will not stand. Nigeria must break. That be 2023. There won't be election in the year 2023. All our people worldwide. It is the word of God. And that is how he showed me. It changes not. There won't be election come 2023. It was the INEC chairman that announced the day of the election. And they will claim they postpone it, though it will never come. And this is the word of God for the year 2000. This approaching year be a sad year and a year of joy at the same time. To be a year of joy and great sorrow. I will explain those who will be sad and those who will rejoice, I will tell you also. Hallelujah. Number one. All the politicians. None of them will be elected. Those who have been to me have gone back and said I'm not saying I'm not saying words in favor of them, but I must not tell lies. Presidency and presidential election is a taboo. It will never take place. Be attentive to me. Next year, great thing will happen. And all the politicians will be cancelled and erased. And all the parties will be cleared. Let us continue watching it. This is what the Lord has told me. If you do not say no, if you don't put a stop, if you don't stamp your feet on the ground and say enough is enough, Oppressors will not leave you. And this is what we have on our hands in Nigeria. Although the collective consciousness of everyone has brought us to where we are today. What do I mean? When you talk about bad leadership, it starts from you, 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 you. None of these people that you call rulers, because we can't call them leaders, none of them came from some other planets. They all grew up in Nigeria. Most of them enjoyed system that functioned, that worked either abroad or when um, the 
system was still not as corrupt as it is right now. But every one of those people took advantage. All they care about is their own personal gain. We've been without constant electricity for many years. It is uncountable. Some people cannot even say we were once in a country where electricity supply is constant. They cannot say it. Things are not working. Year in, year out. Eight years back and forth. Military dictatorship. Many people have seen this. Till date, we are where we are. And clamoring agitation started from the south of Nigeria. The only tribe, the only section, the only region that has not asked for separation is the north of Nigeria. Maybe they are, but we are not hearing them. The south have asked for separation. We have Biafra on one side. We have Yoruba nation on one side. This led to incarceration. In the southeast, we've seen several people who have been incarcerated. But sub-leader, Wanzurike was incarcerated. He later came out and he has piped down, realizing that he will be murdered, he will be killed by these people because they are strong using the state power, making use of police officers, security agents who are not even having it good. We see corruption on the street among police officers, security agents. The court has been pushed down. The court is not even that full of integrity itself. The system is just not working. We have Sunday Gbowo, on the other hand, who had to live in a hurry. His home was crashed and people were murdered, all because he said enough is enough. Why are you allowing a particular section, aliens from some other part, joining the criminals, killing? And of course, we have certain people hiding under this, you know, full and yet's men to commit havoc. We've seen the lackadaisical attitude of the government of the day, the regime of Buhari. We've seen how they have embraced this wickedness. And how long are we going to continue in this? The prophet has spoken. Sunday Bo should stay where he is. He shouldn't come. God has spoken. There is no election in Nigeria. Nigeria has to break. Now, the problem is this. I believe a lot of you would have listened or heard from people who said Nigeria will remain as one, that what we are seeing now, the best is coming, like the late prophet of the synagogue, Temitokwe Balogu Joshua. He didn't talk about breakup of Nigeria. He spoke about Nigeria becoming better in the near future. He talked about it. People listened, but they didn't allow that to sink deep into them because that is not what they want. People want disintegration of Nigeria. They want to change themselves. They want to change their name. They don't want to become, they don't want to be called Nigeria. People do not even understand what Nigeria means. This is a name that has been given to you by your oppressors, the colonial masters. They say they don't want to be part of it anymore. And, you know, for every election, participation in it simply shows that you are rebanding, rejoining the so-called Nigeria has expired that a lot of people have been saying. The Nigeria expired 2004. Nigeria expired 2000 and this. Um, they talked about the 100 years amalgamation that it has expired. They talked about this. They talked about that. Well, we have gone past the amalgamation story now. People are saying, amalgamation or not, we do not want to be part of this anymore. The prophet spoke extensively, and I want us to hear more. Presidency and presidential election is a taboo. It will never take place. Be attentive to me. Next year, Great thing will happen. And all the politicians will be cancelled and erased. And all the parties will be cleared. Let us continue watching it. This is what the Lord has told me. And all the politicians will be sad about this. It will have been better they abide by these and listen to me and don't waste their money any longer. All the uh, presidential aspirants one of them will die 
and they will mandate it that we should remember him like that of June 12 at a particular date. I'm not any name. But whosoever heeds the taboo of food will die for it. Listen to me attentively. Yoruba nation. The Yoruba people, the Yoruba nation. You have been wanting to uh, have it. And I continue to attend to a question which you don't want to listen to. I told you that the Lord said we're going to step on the sun before we step step on the water. And I'm repeating myself also. We did not agree. And people were saying no, we will not agree to that. <laughs> Don't allow Sunday go to come home now. Let him stay where he is. And those who are having for it, put it aside once. Apostoli, ni power of Christi ati ojo gbon Johnson. Online ka ma folabi oko to Jesu lo n ba gbogbo abaye soro. I am the one declaring. Gbogbo omo yo ba ti nbe ni ilu oke oku ni bi gbogbo ni agbaye. The Yoruba people in Diaspora. Itumo oro mi pe omi la te ka to te yan rire o. This is the meaning of what I've said earlier home. E ko iwe to na ti gba tan ti fun yin. The certificate you claim you have uh, uh, received to claim the nation, put it as put it aside. If you fail to do that, you will waste a lot of this, uh, the youth's life. They will just kill the man behind this and important people will be uh, uh, dignitaries will be killed he touched on something that is very important one yoruba nation mega rally the campaign and also the declaration of yoruba nation he said you cannot fight this battle this battle is of god now a lot of people might have um, diverse opinion about this saying we do not want to pray anymore. Prayer, prayer, prayer. This has been what we've been doing for several years. It is time to take matters on our own ends. It's time to take action. I do understand this because we are more like a religious country where people tend to use prayer to cook rice, um, tend to use prayer to do all sorts and say, uh, God will do it. God will do that. Until date, we are still where we are. Well... Yoruba declaration has been made by one of the Yoruba nation, um, you know, decision makers, Madame Monetary, and this met with a lot of backlash. They said, why are you declaring Yoruba nation without Sondebo, without Professor Banja Kitonye and the rest of the decision makers? But she might have done what she did because she felt that they are backtracking. She probably felt that her husband, MK Abiola, late MK Abiola, who was not permitted to become president of Nigeria, who was robbed of that mandate. She probably felt that she needed to do more. She needed to push hard. She needed to put her face on it. And they're like, why are you? Don't come and rob it on us. Let us take our action the way we want to take it. So it's a divided um, side. Some are saying, let us use tact and calculation to get it. We cannot use rush, rush to get it. We have seen what these people did to Sunday Google. They will do more to anyone who wants to stop them. Who wants to die for Nigeria? Who wants to die? That is the question. Uh, who wants to die for Nigeria? These people know that you know what they can do. And they are ready to do it. See what happened during NSAS protests. They came out, used you against you, and also used the military. Because there are talks that certain individuals wanted to crash down Lagos State. And they said, no, go to your state for the end SARS protests. Go to your place to do that. Destroy your own um, part of the nation and not ours. So it is all about politics, tribe, religion.
But the truth is this, there is nobody in any part of Nigeria, apart from these criminals, who are having it good. There is nobody in the north of Nigeria, the price of bread to the south of Nigeria, the suffering is the same. People are not having it good. So what is the way forward? Should we continue in this scene called Nigeria and say it will be well? Or should we break Nigeria apart? What about the Yoruba Nation campaigners? Is campaigning mega rally going to solve it? Is it going to answer to it? The mega rally that was supposed to be held in Lagos, they quickly killed people, disrupted a lot of things. Igbo left. The mega rally could not be held as it should be held. They are talking of a mega rally now. The year is coming to an end. 2023 is fast approaching. February, there will be election, presidential election in Nigeria, change of government. What will become of the agitators? Will they begin agitating under the new government? What will happen? This are what a lot of people are concerned about. And I'm sure you are also concerned about it. Some people have lost hope. They do not believe that Yoruba Nation will be achieved this year because talks have been there that Yoruba Nation will be achieved this year. The Biafrans are not even talking about Biafra anymore, IPOB members, because their leader, Namde Kanu, is where he is. And um, they've been talking about Sitatum. The Sitatum is not even as functional as it is. That push, that energy is no longer there because you are dealing with an established system, a system that is ready to crush. The people do not have that power, that voice. People are not ready to put themselves in arms way because it's not worth it. At the end of the day, these people will quickly rush out. They have private jet when they realize that everything is turning into a civil war. They will fly out. Their kids do not even stay. The ones that are even pushing for presidential candidate, you know, want to become president. Many of them do not even have their children in Nigeria. This is how these guys roll. But then, are we going to look at all of this and say, eh, let us continue like that? No. Sacrifice. Sacrifice has to be made to get to where you need to get to. So what are your own thoughts about what this prophet has said? Let us meet at the comment section below. If you're just coming across this channel, tap on the subscription button. The red notification icon bell, very important. Listen to these other children of God. This is what the Lord has told me about it. We, the Yoruba people, will not fight for ourselves. We are not up to the time. Because we are under an authority. And if you want to maintain the, the Lord said, Nigeria not back We first of all seek for the peace of this nation altogether. Nigeria Nigeria no. Don't claim you don't you no longer belong to Yoruba uh, to Nigeria again. All the Fulani that are stations in all the places they have they are they are there because of those who want to agitate for no uh, so that we, uh, that's why I'm advising all the pastors to speak and advise, uh, advice to all the youths so that they don't go into traditional and receive uh, diabolic power and they will just waste their lives. I am very sure you must have heard empower yourself. Empower yourself. Many Yoruba nation agitators have um, said this several times to empower themselves, protect themselves against Fulani incursion, Fulani terrorism, banditry, and these aliens that are just coming in. And of course, we know there are people who are in the south of Nigeria who are taking advantage of this to commit havoc also. The renowned cleric warned people not to get themselves involved in diabolic practices in the hope that they will secure themselves. He said doing this will be will bring about negative um, consequences are you going to listen to him or not this is what i want you to come to the comment section to do now if further advice pa akintoye and sunday adeyemo igbowo 
He warned them. He warned them. He told them to be very careful. He said, be very careful. These people have already prepared. They've already arranged ways of exterminating both of you. If Sunday Bobo returns to Nigeria, hoping that he's going to come for one protest or campaign, he said he will be deleted. And he said, Parking told you, if you're not careful, something will just happen to you and that will be the end of it. They will say you had height at attack and that's it no one is going to question them who is going to question them who is going to fight for parking toy who is fighting for sunday Bobo right now is anybody breaking Aso rock Aso villa no people are waiting and hoping that their messiah having been hit hard will return to fight for them again let us be wise let us be smart this is what he's saying he said that god in his power will rise to battle this evil people who have kept everyone in servitude he said everyone should stay still and calm enough of campaign enough of this enough of that now there are people who are claiming that this is not a prophet of god they say that he's simply speaking what the politicians want him to say that he's trying to use prophecy since he knows that nigeria is a religious country to calm people down so that 2023 elections will proceed once you say we leave it in the hand of God, you will not take any action, even if God has um, given you opportunity to take action. So 2023 will roll out and you'll be waiting for the day that those so-called politicians will be deleted by God and none of that will happen. But then I believe that a little bit of caution is important now. A little bit of caution is important now. When you are dealing with an enemy, an enemy that is as strong as these people that you're seeing, do not forget that they are taking advantage of the stupidity, foolishness, corrupt, and wickedness of certain security agents. Normally, these people are few. They are not much. These are frail, old, and few groups of people who are putting the country into servitude, putting it into bondage. These are very few people. But then, to keep them there, it takes the collective consciousness of a lot of us. Many of us, in fact, everyone's collective consciousness. Um, that is what has put them where they are. Of course, we have the exceptional people who are pushing hard, fighting hard to make sure that this does not stand. But one, one, one over here and there cannot achieve this. It has to be collective focus, collective strength to achieve this. But the cleric has warned, if you try, they will kill. Look at what happened during NSARS. So the big question is this, what is the way forward? How do we achieve this? How do we get to the next level? How do we achieve Yoruba nation? How will the Igbos have their own nation? How can we go on to progress? Why is it that we have to be too, we have to be tied down together with people who are not ready to progress? And of course, certain people um, taking advantage of this to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Why do we have to all sit together in one box without progress? Imagine what would have happened if these nations had been separate. Progress would have been fast. There will be competition. But, you know, certain groups of people who were part of the civil war, who were the forerunners of the civil war, who were part of it, they said Nigeria has given to them, done better for them than what whatever nation anyone is clamoring for would have, you know, achieved or made them achieve. Let us hear what the cleric has to say more. He wants to give solution because I believe that is what a lot of us want to know. We want to find out. Okay, you said they, sh they shouldn't campaign. There shouldn't be campaign. There shouldn't be this. Sunday Bobo, stay where you are. Parking toy, be careful. Agitators, be careful. Um, do not put yourself in arm's way. Do not sacrifice yourself for this. It is not worth it. People want to find out what is the solution? What is the way out? How do we achieve this? How are we going to get the result? Let's listen to what he preferred as a solution. Everybody. Run for your dear life for the impending danger. Please, I'm appealing to you in the name of God. If you die, you have died in vain. You cannot be exchanged. Don't have any political rally. They will just uh, 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 spread the news that the president is missing. And they will just establish a government which nobody knows about it. 
Akosile. That is in, conclu in concluding the programs that they have ahead. Please listen to these other children. The Lord, the Lord told me. Then the Lord will emanate in his power. Yoruba. I can support Yoruba to any length. Physically, biologically, I'm Yoruba. But the Lord has called a battle his own battle. Please, I'm appealing to you. Speak to your children. These people will conclude their program and the law will now stand for our help. If we divide, none of the tribes will benefit more than the Yorubas because of our natural resources. They have taken all from us. You cannot fight to restore it. Why do they take all the double power of Sunday? And he, did, he cannot take it back and nobody can help him to take it back. He must not come right now. Akitoye, any moke kukuri alaresa that Akitoye also should run for his dear life. No one know about one after a penny by soccer. You're about nation. I want to see the mess of they want to waste the life of those who are agitating for this nation. If I look at what I don't know, that is the sad next journey. Oh, you let it and you know, I'm very and the new nation will start. And a new president will be elected. But please, I'm appealing. Yoruba not to be for you. It's we favor Yoruba mostly. Then we enjoy. But with them, you bow on my way. Correct your book. But I want to show that. Thank God. What you know, hey, what a woman. What you are reckoning? I can't. I want to collect your doku. Any minister of God that do not have vision will say nonsense. What call the pastor just say no the church can one day come back one bad way. Oh yeah, hey, but I'm in for my second time. I don't want to do it. 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 The election will not take place. Don't trouble yourself. You say the truth. Anybody that is revealed to say the truth. Please pity the youths. God has great plan for this nation. Between February to March, and between February and March, somebody will die. I need to help I don't buy so fair for your stay. Do you want to uh, celebrate in the year 2000? Now that you've heard from what the cleric has said, what are your thoughts as regards this one? Um, let us meet at the comment section. Let us talk about this. Let us dig deeper into it. What is the way forward? How are we going to continue to be afraid? Oh, they are going to waste people's lives. They are going to do this. They are going to do that. What is the way forward? How do we achieve what we want? Are we going to sit down and it will be brought to us on the platter of gold? Is there a spiritual move? that will put it on our hands. Do we have to act? Is this the wrong time to act? Are we acting at the right time? These are questions that a lot of people want answers to. And I think sitting down, looking at it deeper, analyzing it, seeing the next step, the next way forward, will definitely put us where we want to be put. As it stands, he promised saying that God said 
there will be a new this, a new that, this will be given, this will be given, and all of that. What is the way forward? Is Nigeria going to break? Is there going to be no election? That is the question. What are your thoughts? He has talked about Sunday Ade Yamonikbowo, how he has been weakened, and how Sonikbowo, with all of the claim to have powers to do this, how he did Modakeke, that this is not Modakeke. This is a group of wicked people who have sat down. They are the ones who are the backbone, you know, the, the, the evil backbone of the oppression in Nigeria. They themselves have sold their souls to the kingdom of darkness and they have to do what the kingdom of darkness wants. And unfortunately, what the kingdom of darkness allotted to them is not progressive. It is counter-progressive. It is backwardness. It is wickedness. When you talk about wickedness, you have corruption. You have um, police brutality. You have um, disobedience to court ruling. You have corruption. You just have terrible things. There is nothing that you will not find inside of wickedness. If you're just coming across this platform and you're not a member, let's build it together. It is free. Simply tap on the subscription button and the red notification icon bell below to alert you whenever videos are dropped.